As long as Japan wins this match, Steve Borthwick's team will finish first in Pool D, and they have therefore officially qualified for the World Cup quarterfinals. Michael Leitch scored two tries for the resurrected Brave Blossoms, who will now play Argentina in a matchup on October 8th in Nantes to determine whether the team, along with England, which plays Samoa the previous evening in Lille, advances to the round of eight. Ben Lam, a wing for the Pacific Islands, won't be playing because of an unpleasant and hazardous head-on tackle. Even though Samoa grew into this match and played well in the end, based on this evidence, an English clean sweep in the round-robin round is all but guaranteed. They have a strong scrum, a lot of Route 1 physicality, and Saracens forward Theo McFarlane's deft genius in their arsenal, but they shouldn't have enough creativity, pace, or kicking ability to surprise England. Japan, who entered this tournament with terrible momentum, appears to be rediscovering its lost drive and fluency. Last night, they displayed some of the attacking prowess that shone at the most recent world championship they hosted in 2019. Jamie Joseph's team will now feel confident that they can defeat the Pumas, knowing that the reward would likely be a quarter-final matchup with Wales in Marseille. In the 13th minute, the Japanese took the lead. Peter Labouchain sprinted past the last defender to score after full-back Lomano Lemeki broke out of a tackle to get free on the left. Rikia Lemeki resumed his onslaught eight minutes before half-time, and Matsuda's lofted pass sent Michael Leitch tumbling over in the left corner. Matsuda once again changed. Both teams were down to 14 men after Jonathan Tamatine and Shota Hori were sin-binned, and Selala Lam scored off a line-out drive shortly before half-time to close the deficit to nine points. Ben Lam of Samoa was given a sin-binning early in the second half for a risky high tackle, and after a review of the head impact, his yellow card was changed to a red one. After Japan converted a penalty kick to the right corner shortly after, Leitch again touched down to complete their rolling maul. Kotaro Matsushima ran free to score what would have been Japan's bonus point try, but it was disallowed for an infraction in the build-up, leading to yet another Matsuda penalty that widened the margin. Samoa made the most of their respite when Tumu Amanu sprinted into the middle of the field and two deft handling plays by McFarland set up a try for Duncan Paya Awa. Christian Lealiifano then added the extra point from a wide position. With five minutes left, though, Japan regained possession, moved across the field, and Matsuda scored another penalty to hammer home the Far Eastern nation's advantage. Samoa wouldn't go down without a fight, though, and Lealiifano still had time to add a late converted try and give his team a bonus point as just compensation for their valiant battle despite being down to 14 men.